When we went all beta SP, mm -hmm. we had to have one of these edit controllers, yep. which the main advantage I could see was I think now it could handle a thousand edits or something, but instead of now having the nice, well, relatively nice LED readouts, now... Yeah, that's the, the edit list, isn't is it? is actually yeah. produced on a, on, a, on a monitor, which yes. I'm sure it made it easier for Sony, Sony to make, and perhaps cheaper, because you didn't have to have extra built-in electronics here, and this is stuff you could alter. Um, but, let's say, so you had to choose... Where did you have to choose? Let's face it, so that's... Is there anything for old tapes? You'd have different colours on that monitor, couldn't you? Um, you know, mm, for, the, for the numbers, you could, so it was easier to spot. I think, but that's probably only a black only, and white well, monitor. Well, yeah, it was yeah. green or something. It wasn't fancy so, so colours. So that's the recorder. So now let's... Shoot. We've got a tape in there. Right. Let's just play along. Jog. Yeah, no, sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, right. Am I controlling it? Oh, hang on, it's player two. That's player two. Sorry, I was on the wrong player. Right. So instead of having the two knobs, you've only got one knob and yeah. you have to select, select whatever you want to play. And the other problem was, if you went to shuttle, it didn't move because you can't set up a speed. Yeah. So I couldn't do this play forwards, shuttle backwards by just going between these two buttons. It just... It wouldn't do anything. And it, as I say, sadly, it did drive me a bit mad at first. 